Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons, as dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 500 days. I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to test out the new build which I was advised to fight against the tier 5 infantry players. If you want to find the new ideas in Call of Dragons and you are a free to play player, that then this video is for you. I, today I will try out the new uh, build which I got recommended by, which is um, Alwyn with the Indies, right? Alwyn with the Indies, with the Mirage Orb, uh, and with the Sapphire Federic, which looks like this. It's about like Gentle Breeze, uh, Dispel, the Interruption, which is like um, Deficiency, right? And debuff, debuff removal, uh, follow up. So, pretty interesting build. I like my Rajor, but I was advised to get a uh, Breath of the Gigantis, but I don't have one. So, I, I'm going for a my Rajor. I like the uh, additional effect, which gives us um, more skill damage on artifact whenever we, got, we are getting hero skill damage buffs, which we are going to get from Indies for sure, which is Infirm, right? Uh, in terms of talents uh, for the Alwyn, um, well, my Alwyn is not full level, uh, it's 50 level, but that's like main talent points is Soul Siphon and of course the Silence, right? The reticent. Of course, if I was, if I had uh, the Alwyn on a max level, I would had uh, one more important talent, but that's for the future. Well, let's test out. Let's see how well we are going to perform. I was advised in regarding this hero pair because um, I have been saying that there is a lot of tier 5 infantry players and fighting against them is really really hard. I was also said that it's a mostly free to play support uh, gameplay style and by the way we're gonna look at the Call of Dragons new heroes, especially epic ones. Uh, support gameplay is getting more and more popular and maybe um, there will be times when uh, there will be like different style between like ranged, melee, tank, damager, right, which will be support. Uh, of course, I was also advised regarding this hero pair that um, in Alwyn with the Tara would be much better. I still don't have Tara yet, so let's work with what, I, what we have, right? Uh, as always, like um, this hero pair is about debuffing the enemy infantry, so your tier 5 uh, players are going to deal way more damage, right? That's the idea behind the whole uh, hero pair. And also, Alwyn is giving a lot of insert, a lot of debuffs. Um, I put my regular because in addition I want to have some more merits in terms of statistics. And uh, honestly, uh, if we are going to get more than 10k uh, merits out of, out of these hero pairs, well, I think uh, the job is done because, in my opinion, the amount of debuffs you are going to apply to the enemy is so much that even if you are getting 10k merits, it kind of feels like you you got like 15 or 20, right? We should not really mention, we should always mention that these fights are mainly against tier 5 players. I am fighting against tier 5 alliance, right? Um, and also, of course, I tried this uh, hero pair once. It feels like you are way, way more tanky than any like than Waldi or Welling or even any other hero pair which is mage, right? Uh, I also tried this hero pair with Tier of Arbon uh, because that was like my only legendary artifact, which is on a five level, and I want to use it. Uh, but honestly. Um, it yeah gives a lot of survivability. It's a defense bonus buffs on tier of Arbon, but uh, I, I was paying a life longer. But I did not really felt like I was effective. How I am effective whenever I have like my job, right? Of course, I'm still testing out things with this hero pair. It's a new one. I just built. Uh, I tried my best to build as similar as the, as I was advised. And yeah, guys, you can see how many infantry players are running as fast as possible, well, I guess uh, playing something anti-infantry hero pair is kind of fun and the correct moment, right? Uh, we actually destroyed their Bastion, which is important because all this fight is happening simply because we are we, they want to take our Magma and we are not allowing them to do that. Uh, finally, I'm seeing some infantry players, which means I will be able to try to do 
why this hero pair was built, right? Of course, I was expecting some different builds because infantry have been in meta such a long time that it was quite a moment to have something anti, something debuffing, which because uh, if you have Goresh and Skolgul um, awakened, both of them, and you have tier 5 troops, which means your search is on a maximum, well, honestly, sometimes it feels like even tier 5 troops can't kill tier 5 Goresh and Skolgul in a good time, right? If Goresh and Skolgul will buy at least 20 seconds or even like 15 to 20 seconds uh, during the battlefield, the whole push, job done, right? Because you can have actually a lot of Goresh and Skolguls in a one alliance. That's the whole point and if this will be the hero pair which will tell me that okay finally we have something against Goresh and Skolgul, then guys, honestly, this is the hero pair which I will use 24-7, right? Um, before we're gonna find out how it actually um, performed, uh, I can only already see the difference that my health is not going down really fast. I don't know what's the reason. Uh, I know that I'm hitting, as always, tier 5 players. I'm hitting tier 5 troops, uh, especially infantry, but my health is getting uh, normal, right? It's not like sometimes on Walder, whenever I'm fighting like this, I already have half HP only from the counter-attack damage. I guess in these heals are doing its job. Also, I think Infirm should be working against these enemies. Uh, like, as long as uh, enemy has a high health and Shredner and Poison and Infirms should be good choice, right? That's why I think uh, this hero pair can be workable. Uh, of course, if in the future I will get uh, Breath of the Gargantis, which is perfect artifact for this hero pair, uh, then it will be much, much better test, in my opinion, than right now, right? But uh, I will work with whatever I have. At least I have the talents uh, properly put in. I have Indis, which is awakened. I have Alwin, which is awakened. And I managed to build uh, the Warpet, which was necessary for this playstyle, right? Uh, of course, like, uh, I'm using the Myrage Orb because Myrage Orb has an additional effect. Uh, whenever you're applying the debuff through the skill damage factor, uh, your Myrage Orb will sell a lot more damage. Uh, I'm pretty sure they will pop up with a lot of infantry players pretty soon. Uh, that's always what happens. I like It's not always that we are pushing these tier 5 players uh, so much, so I think... Uh, we should remember this moment, because fighting against them is really, really rough. It's not that easy, right? Well, if I'm going to deal a little bit damage to these uh, cavalry players, which are standing and uh, building, yeah, I guess the timing was off and it's time for us to move back. Uh, in addition, we need to mention that you are going to have a lot more, more march speed than generally on... Um, major units simply because you in talents you are choosing a lot of march speed talents and it actually increases it quite a bit uh, that's why i'm liking the movement of the alwin and indies because you can see how fast i moved out from the war zone uh, that's what i like about this hero pair right and plus i even got targeted a couple of times and my hp is not that low right uh, right now let's move back i i can see this infantry player is running uh, for me uh, but I will I will try to have enough free time. Yeah, I guess right now this is the perfect target. Uh, we will apply a lot of debuffs, we will apply a lot of ensnares, and hopefully it will help our tier 5 players to simply deal as much damage as possible, right? Uh, like I'm not really, really expecting yellow merits out of this hero pair. At least if I'm applying a lot of debuffs and helping my tier 5 players, I'm doing my job, right? Uh, this is what um, what they told me that free to play uh, support gameplay hero pair, and I actually see why it can be uh, like that, right? Uh, well, in terms of battle, you guys can see that we are actually winning. Um, we are removing their tower, which means it's their time to attack us. It was ours, and we took the advantage. Uh, so far, I think we are doing absolutely amazing. I hope we are going to continue in the same way. And, of course, it will continue because they want to take our season-ending rewards. Uh, they want to take out our magma, which we are not going to allow, right? Well, these uh, chill moments will affect the merit score on the Alwin and Indies. And I think you guys kind of understood the whole idea behind the hero pair, right? 
Uh, you are you are alive longer. Uh, I'm plus. I'm only having elixir uh, production mana stone. You are alive longer. Your in these heals actually matter, and you are applying tons of debuffs to the players, which you can't really deal damage to, which are uh, tier five infantry, right? Right. I hope um, like this is the viable option. I hope this video will show you guys that. This, in Call of Dragon, there is a lot of playable uh, styles which you can actually fight with and uh, it depends on you, whichever you are going to choose, right? I can see, I don't know about you guys, uh, but I recognize these tier 5 infantry enemy players and uh, since I'm using this debuffer, I have not, never seen them drop so fast, right? So I guess it, it actually works, we're gonna check in terms of merits, but for me, uh, merits won't gonna be the... Uh, the answer, I mean, like, for, I won't gonna say because I have high merits or low merits in this hero pair, this actually works or not, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure the ensnare and debuff playstyle is viable. If it was not viable, we would not have gotten the Tara new hero, which is basically the buffer, right? Uh, so this type of gameplay is actually viable, and I think... Soon they are make a system, they are going to make a system where healing and debuffing and stuff like that uh, will appear in terms of merits also, right? Because we are having too much of a, a healer hero pairs, too much of a buffers, which um, like there is a many different players which actually love that kind of gameplay, right? They love to heal, they love to be priests, uh, they love to debuff, so uh, that kind of... Uh, Gameplay should be intensified in the game. Like everybody, like it's simply, if you are damage dealer lover and you play the DPS, you are getting merits. If you are healer, you should be getting merits on amount how much you healed. Right, that's the way I think uh, we might go in terms of direction of the game. And well, um, even if it won't gonna happen, actually, if uh, this hero pair will be anti uh, tank, anti infantry, when well, then I'm hundred percent going to use it. A lot right unfortunately in these fights region did not really hit a lot of infantry players but uh, this still should be indication on how this hero pair performs what i like a lot is that the hero pair can stay alive uh, i don't like hero pairs which are dying health which are losing hp really really fast i like thank you ones and i can honestly say that this hero pair actually can fight on a long period of time uh, and plus, if you are debuffer, you want to have the hero pair which is uh, alive for a long time because you want to debuff enemies more and more, right? Uh, that's the, basically the idea behind the whole thing uh, in terms of uh, like playstyle and in terms of merits and in general to be effective on the battlefield. Right now I'm trying my best to... Uh, dig as much debuffs as possible, uh, like this is the perfect gameplay for me uh, because in general I'm fighting until my legion is alive and if uh, if we're gonna see that that's like every single second is important because you are applying debuffs then I think that's the playstyle for me like most suitable, right? Yeah, finally Alwyn and Indies are down and it's time for us to check how we actually performed, right? Because I have, I have mentioned before uh, 10k merits with such a long amount of debuffs, uh, I will take that, right? Uh, this is like, well, 10k merits, this is my first first uh, run with the Mirage Orb, 12k merits, and if we're gonna check uh, how much debuffs we applied, for example, Goresh and Skolgul, uh, Legion debuffs, uh, well, Battle Log, of course, and uh, let's, let's double check what we actually did here, right? Uh, there is a lot of um, like new enemy, of course. Well, let's let's check. Uh, Alwyn and HP was increased by 20% due to Elilia's blessing. Um, skill damage was increased. Um, Legion March speed was decreased uh, by 30% due to Alwyn blindside slow effects. Three seconds remaining. That's amazing. Uh, uh, Gorish pet skill damage taken was decreased by. Uh, 5%, um, okay, what else, what else, we want to see more effectiveness of Alwyn and uh, the Indies, right, Alwyn's artifact skill damage was increased by 7% due to Alwyn, okay, that's why we are using my Orb, by the way, uh, to increase our artifact skill damage factor to 7%, uh, Alwyn damage dealt was increased by 2% due to Alwyn's effect, 
okay, another buff, uh, I'll reload the normal attack on Gorish, slot units, okay, there's like normal attack thing, uh, okay, Alwyn Sapphire Frederick's interruption was triggered, that's why we are using interruption on our Sapphire Frederick, because that's actually good, Alwyn gained the artifact skill damage dealt bonus effect to, uh, for 20 seconds, so basically guys, you can see, uh, damage deal 20%, artifact skill damage 7%, legion HP 20%, uh, and yeah, look at, look, you can see guys how many things we did in terms of debuffs, right? Uh, pet skill damage taken min minus 9%, Legion March Speed minus 30%. Uh, well, this is the way why I think this hero pair actually works. And even if we are getting 10k merits out of the hero pair, I think uh, this is an amazing uh, uh, hero pair for anti-tanks, right? Of course, whenever I'm gonna get the rest of the Gigantis, it will be much better. But so far, I think this is cool, and of course, I'm going to share it with, with, with you guys. Uh, try it out and tell me what do you think regarding this hero pair. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, press like, subscribe, share. I really, really want to hit 1k subscribers, guys. Like this, I have never imagined myself doing that, so we are getting close to that, right? As always, I wish everybody amazing morning, night or day, wherever you are. Uh, we are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye uh, and good luck.